Uh, hello everyone. Uh, wanted to give the preview for the big India South Africa match tomorrow. Highly anticipated match at Eden Gardens, Calcutta. Uh, South Africa and India have played five times between each other. Obviously, South Africa started playing World Cup in 1992 after the international ban. Uh, India and South Africa played five times each other. In 1992, I remember it was a, a shortened match because of the rain. It was a 30 over si side. And uh, India got around 180 for six. And South Africa won by uh, four wickets or six wickets, I think. And uh, I remember Peter Kirsten got around 81 runs and Andrew Hudson also getting a 50. I've said in one of my videos, Peter Kirsten, one of the finest batsmen South Africa produced. People would, India especially, would know Gary Kirsten, the coach when India won the World Cup in 2011. But Peter Kirsten was one of the finest batsmen I've one of my favorites. Uh, he had so much timing and was such an elegant player. He had a lot of time to play. Uh, and South Africa winning that uh, match uh, in 1992. And then India met uh, in 1999, I remember. That's when India batted first. Saurav Gangli got 97. Rahul Ravid also got a 50. And India posted around 256 or 7 in the 50 overs. That was a match where Hansi Kronia had a year piece in his uh, uh, year. And uh, Bob Woomer was giving him uh, ad uh, advices or information through the earpiece and the umpires found it out and I think it was around 15 overs that uh, Hansi Kronia was asked to remove it. So that was a rare event that happened in cricket. And South Africa batting second, I still remember. I mean, South Africa lost Kirsten and Gibbs quite early and it was a, a bit of a problem for South Africa. Hansi Gronia was a captain and Mark Boucher, I don't think he has ever done that. He was sent up the order and uh, Indian spinners were bowling well, well too. And Mark Boucher went and he scored 34 of 36 balls. He hit a few six uh, fours and he hit a six as well. And I remember he uh, battle swept uh, Kumble a few times and that was an important, even though the run rate wasn't required a lot, but it was an important knock at that stage and Hansi Gronia sending hip number three and getting 34 of 36 balls. Uh, Callis also got runs that day around 97 and South Africa winning a close match by uh, four wickets. And then in 2011, uh, India and South Africa met. I mean, in that World Cup, India had a tie against England, but the World Cup that India won, the only match that India lost was to South Africa. Uh, that was also a close match. South Africa winning by, uh, I think, four wickets, but only two balls to spare. I remember Robin Peterson hitting the winning run. Uh, batting first, I mean, India went crazy. I mean, I remember a South African friend messaged me and said, you guys are uh, killing us. And Sehwag and Tendulkar had a 142 run opening partnership in just 18 overs. I mean, it was crazy batting. They were going so well. And Tendulkar scored 111 runs. And I think Sehwag got around 70 something in just 18 overs, 142. But then uh, Gambier also got 69 that day. But India really lost uh, way from 267 for one. India were 296 all out. India lost nine wickets, the last nine wickets for just 29 runs. And Dale Stain took five wickets. And batting second, uh, Jack Callis scored a 50. Amla scored a 50 as well. Uh, A.B. De Villiers also got a 50. And South Africa winning uh, with two balls to spare. Robin Peterson scoring the winning run, I remember. And then in 2015, uh, India had a comfortable win. India won by 130 runs, batting first. It was, I think the match was at Melbourne and there was a 70, 80,000 crowd and the Indian crowd were excellent. And Shikhar Dhawan got an excellent 100. I think he got 137, 130 something. And India winning comfortably by 130 runs. I remember in that match, A.B. De Villiers notably he was batting while he was on 30 and he got run out. Uh, I think it was Mohit Sharma. He got run out and David Miller also got run out in that match. So that was an important stage of the match. But India winning comfortably after A.B. De Villiers this weekend. And then in 2019, last World Cup, India won. Uh, South Africa batted first and scored around 220, something a low total considering the... Uh, this generation and uh, Yuvendra Shahal, the leg, spin, leg spinner, got four wickets. And when India replied, Rohit Sharma played an excellent inning, so he scored 122 not out and India winning. But Rohit Sharma was in excellent form in the last World Cup, scoring 500, so he really batted well because South Africa did bowl well, but Rohit Sharma was really in good form. Anyway, coming back to the match tomorrow, it's a highly anticipated match tomorrow. 
South Africa and India have been the big form teams in this World Cup. I mean, South Africa's batting really looking good. I mean, especially when South Africa bats first. I mean, they scored in excess of 400 in one match, 399 against England and a few other 300 scores. The only match South, Af uh, South Africa obviously lost in Netherlands. Everyone know an upset victory. But South Africa also had that uh, worry against Pakistan winning by one wicket. India comfortable in all their matches. Obviously, the first match against Australia was a trouble at two for three. And India winning and then a little bit of bother against uh, 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 New Zealand as well, a close match uh, uh, in, in a way, but India batted, played well, but a huge, coming off a huge win against Sri Lanka. So it's a highly anticipated match. Uh, I think the toss will be very important and who does what. I'm sure India wouldn't want South Africa to bat first because South Africa have been so dangerous batting first. And in the last 10 overs, I think, uh, not think South Africa have definitely got the biggest runs in this last 10 overs in this World Cup. South Africa have been scoring around 150 runs in, in the last 10 overs, 120, easily over 120 runs in the last 10 overs with the dangerous class and Miller, Markram uh, batting in the last 10 overs. So India wouldn't want South Africa to bat first. Uh, Eden Gardens, uh, I don't know how it's been playing recently. Obviously, the crowd will be excited. It was the biggest ground in India in a long, th in the old days, 90,000 crowd. And another thing, South Africa, in the, when they came to the international cricket scene after the international ban, the first match was played at Eden Gardens. I remember Alan Donald's autobiography saying that a lot of people watching and he got five wickets in that match as well. So Eden Gardens is a special ground for South Africa. And I've said in one of my videos, I remember in 1996, Lance Klosner took eight for 64, South Africa winning by 329 runs. And there was a one-day match in 2006-07 where South Africa won as well, where the uh, pitch assisted the fast bowlers. Eden Gardens do have a habit of helping the fast bowlers in the past. I'm not sure how it works now. Uh, but in that uh, World Cup semi-final, they turned a lot against Sri Lanka. So I don't know how it plays. But it, they, it has a, a habit of helping the fast bowlers, maybe with the new ball. But I don't think India would want to bat second under the lights if the ball starts moving. And Janssen has been in good form. And India do have a trouble against left-timers, I've mentioned before. And South Africa and Gidi Rabada, the Yakutsi yeah, all have good bowlers. So India definitely, I think, would want to bat first. Even today, I mean, uh, Pakistan bowling first, uh, England bowling, but England have been doing well against Australia. Uh, Pakistan considered 402 runs, one runs, but Pakistan are batting well. So, I mean, again, uh, captains winning the toss and choosing to field. But I really hope if India wins the toss tomorrow, India will bat first and put up the total because batting for South Africa can be very dangerous and India don't want to chase too many runs under the lights with Janssen and Co bowling well if it moves around. But anyway, uh, the match is going to be excellent. A lot of people have been talking about this match for a long time, for many days, uh, especially after both teams have been playing so well. The crowd will definitely be excellent and the crowd will be a huge factor like in all other matches. Uh, let's see what the crowd does and let's see how South Africa respond to the occasion. Uh, excellent match expected. Indian batsman looking for, uh, looking good and Shami in excellent form, a very good key for India. In the past, Indian fast bowlers haven't been always the best, but Indian fast bowlers really looking good in this World Cup. So that will be an important match. I'm not making any pick. Like I said, my heart, I mean, I've always supported India recently and I've been a big supporter in South Africa before. So. Uh, I'm not picking anything, uh, I'm definitely going to just uh, watch, uh, but I uh, hope India ha have a good match. Uh, oh, uh, I would definitely want India to win uh, because uh, of the kids that I coach. I've said in my videos before, I want India to win this World Cup well. So let's hope for a good match. Uh, it will be a really exciting mouth watering match. Everyone, please enjoy the match and take care. And thanks for joining in. Uh, God bless you.